Florida's sunshine and water bodies define the state. With thousands of lakes, miles of rivers, world-famous springs and coral reefs, the Everglades, countless miles of coastline and sandy beaches, Florida's many ecosystems are unlike any in the United States. These water bodies are home to microscopic algae, plant-like organisms that are an important part of the ecology, providing food and supplying oxygen to keep our water bodies healthy. Like plants, algae needs nutrients. When nutrient levels rise, algae can overpopulate water bodies. Nutrients are an important part of the ecology of Florida's waters. However, changes in land use, runoff from agricultural lands, stormwater systems, and wastewater can increase nutrients. When nutrients increase, algae can bloom and produce toxins that are harmful to fish, wildlife, and humans. We call these harmful algal blooms. Two common harmful algal blooms in Florida are blue-green algae and red tide. Blue-green algae is found in Florida's freshwater and coastal habitats like lakes, rivers, and freshwater springs. Blue-green algae, or cyanobacteria, occurs in waterways globally. In bloom, blue-green algae often looks like foamy masses resembling spilled paint, green, red, purple colors. Some of the contributing factors to blue-green algal blooms include warm temperature, stagnant waters, the lack of algae-eating critters. There are also human-related sources that include wastewater, fertilizer you might put on your lawn, stormwater, and even septic systems. Reports of red tide in the Gulf of Mexico date back as far as the 1700s. Florida's red tide occurs from a microscopic algae called Karenia brevis. When it blooms, it can often turn the water a red-brown color, thus red tide. Red tide typically develops 10 to 40 miles offshore, but once it moves inshore, the algae that causes red tide is capable of using abundant and various types of nutrients to fuel even more growth. Blue-green algae and red tide events are increasingly problematic. However, we remain dedicated to preserving our water quality across the state. We are protecting Florida together by restoring and preserving clean and abundant water. ProtectingFloridaTogether.gov is your consolidated resource for harmful algal bloom information.